now we are going to see how we can make it so and height using the parameter actions. So before going to that, we have to create one more worksheet. And in this worksheet, we have to pass the names of the fields which we created here. So we have to be careful about what we are passing the names. So let's say here, we have given here the names and this is the values we have to pass it. So here is bar graph. So I've written here bar bar. So we're just passing the the names map here is the map and one more is the pi. Okay, so we have to be careful about these names. Uh, whatever the names we are passing, that name should be mentioned out here in the value section. If it is written down here as a chart, okay, so you have to write by chart. Yeah, otherwise, so it is a case sensitive and you have to be careful about that. Now here, before bringing these three fields into this worksheet, we have to create one average of zero so that I have one field, this field for map, this field for the pi. So the first one, and this we have to make it as a saves because I wanted to bring the saves out here. And first one I'm bringing here the bar graph and let me select the bar graph so whatever I have I will just bring it down that and then here I'm bringing a pie chart let's see if we do we have pie chart I'm not sure yeah we have so I will select here pie chart but I think for map we have to select some random okay so I'm, I'm selecting here what random field is it's a diamond okay so this is the map and I will just hide this and the only one thing we have to do is the formatting of this worksheet. So I will remove the zero from the zero line and I will also remove row divider and column divider. And let's bring this out here. So I will give this name so and hide by accent parameter. So here we have to bring the charts. So first one is the pie chart. Then at the bottom I'm bringing bar graph. Then from that bottom again I'm bringing the map graph. So I will just hide and hide. Hide the title. So that if you are selecting here let's say bar graphs, it will become bar graph. If you are selecting here map chart, so it will become the map chart. Yeah. So this is working fine for me. I will just bring it out and I will close this section. Now here, I'm going to bring the worksheet which we created. Let me just give this name as a chart selection. So let's bring this chart selection on top. Bringing it down, version no. of this. Yeah. So here I have uh, the fields, 
and I have to make it this as a dynamic so I can see here it's giving me the tooltips I will just remove that tooltip so that every time it should not give any tooltips yeah so here uh, we have to add in the action here we have the parameters so whatever we are selecting here based on the parameter is so change based on based on our selections in the chart so whatever the shapes we are selecting it should change accordingly so we have shapes in the chart section chart selection and then here target parameter is the select chart now here first one is the bar i'm selecting a bar click on ok then select the second one which is the pie so here you can give the names if you are not giving the name that's also fine so here the pie click on ok and then again the third one for the map so again select chart selections here select a chart and the map click on ok i'll just rename this as the bar okay okay so let's see in the bar graph yeah it's working perfectly fine but the only thing is i can see it is highlighted here but remaining fields are not highlighting so what i want is it should remain the same based on my selections okay i, I don't want this highlighting same so we just have to go back to the worksheet and in this worksheet we have to create one calculated field which is uh, a reset and i'm just bringing it down as a reset apply okay and bring that in the detail section bring this reset into the detail section okay come to the dashboard now here come to the action here you just have to click on the filter section and in the filter sections uh, we are selecting chart selection select here select option and here you have to select chart selection as a worksheet this worksheet you have to select chart selections and so our values and you have to select here the field which we created uh, where is that so reset and the target field you have to select any random fields so here I'm selecting, uh, let's say region. Click on OK. So if you click on this, you can see now it's not highlighting, but it's filtering at the same time. Yeah. So this is how you can make it so in height using the accent parameter. Thank you so much.